partnership with World Online Tour Wrestling, Welcome to New Generation Rising Warfare. Thank you everybody for joining us for our inaugural episode live from Louisville, Kentucky. My name is Tom Jerkin, your NGR General Manager and Commentator. And joining me is my co-commentator for tonight. His name is Bobby Styles. Thanks for joining us tonight, Bobby. Thanks, Jerkin. It is so great to be here tonight, joining you for this very historic first episode here in New Generation Rising. We have some great matches, some great talent lined up for you people at home tonight. I am pumped. I am excited to see some wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, we will not keep you waiting any longer. Let's head down to ringside for our opening contest. Gentlemen, here he comes. The crazy, unorthodox, rough and tough brawler from Dallas, Texas. His name is Austin Cross. And if you need any proof that he is tough, just look at that knee brace there. The rumor goes that that right knee of his never healed, and he still continues to wrestle today. That man is determined, and that man is pretty insane. Not as insane as his opponent, I think. Why you say that? I take it back. Maybe Austin Cross isn't the most insane person in the world. And ladies and gentlemen, it's pretty fair to say this man is from SNT. He is Insidious Sterling. The craziest SOB in wrestling today. He's a former SNT non-stop champion. And SNT Total Domination took on Big Dollar Jim in the Hell in a Cell match. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, he has decided to expand. First at Saturday Night Thunder, and now here at New Generation Rising. Hopefully, to get his chance at the New Generation Rising World Heavyweight Champion. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we should probably say that this is a first round match in our NGR World Heavyweight Championship Tournament. That's right, Bobby, but let's not waste any more time. Here we go, collar and elbow tie up, and Austin Cross, <laughs> Arms around the waist of Insidious, he gets him down. He does get him down. And Insidious, looking to break out of it. And Insidious, forearm to the back. And another forearm to the back. Looking to use his strikes early on, but Austin Cross powers out of it again. And all takes him down again. As the head of Insidious Sterling, he's just wrenching that head back. Hopefully to weaken Sterling. And that's not going to do, because Insidious has the legs around Austin Cross's head. And he decides to let go. And super kick! What a super kick by Insidious Sterling out of nowhere! That man just strikes and grapples and just flops around. The, the, guy, the guy just has... No, oh my god, another super kick! I can't even get my words out. We're just trying to say, ladies and gentlemen, this man uses everything in his arsenal to win a match. And Austin Cross... Ooh! Two arm drags just then. Another uppercut by Austin Cross. And now, Austin Cross pulling up Insidious. The overhead forearms. And has the head. And throws Insidious into the side. And now, Insidious with the elbows. And now, Insidious with the Bulldog. Now, picking up Cross. But Cross powering out of it once again. And now it's Cross's turn to perhaps deliver some damage. No, it's not. Insidious flips over. Gets out of it. Oh my god, a neckbreaker. This is the type 
of action that Insidious Sterling needs. He wants to punish his opponent. And he's doing exactly that, Jerkin. That's a senton right there. He's been very powerful in this match. Super kick! What an amazing super kick. Again, three super kicks. One, oh, but those, that big super kick right there was not enough to keep Austin down. Now look at Insidious, howling to the crowd. He's getting the crowd behind him. I don't know how the hell they could cheer a man as crazy as Insidious Sterling. Now Austin looks down, but no, but Insidious again for the DDT. My goodness, Insidious has been dominating this entire matchup. Now he has the legs. Oh my god, a leg drop straight on the groin of Austin Cross. Now Insidious, Irish whip against the ropes. Oh, what a big forearm. And the neck slice, telling Austin, stay down. Irish whip. Austin seems to have reversed that. Now he's looking to get the crowd behind him. And I think the crowd is very behind him. Oh my goodness, but Insidious throws him up. One, two. Oh my god, is that a three? No. That was very close. Now, oh, it's Insidious now. Some strikes and another Irish whip. Oh my goodness, the handstand. The handspring. Straight into the corner. He goes for it again. That's not going to work. I don't think Austin Cross is going to take any more of it. Finally in control. Oh my goodness, stalling butterfly suplex. Well, look at that. It's Austin's turn to taunt. He's telling Sidious to get up, not stay down. And Insidious once again seems to be back in control. And, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, he is in control. He is in control. Has he got it? Yes, he has. The rear naked choke. This could be it. This could be it, Bobby. This could definitely be it. No man, not many people get out of this move. Oh my goodness. I think, I think Austin Cross may be fading. I, I think, no, he's not. No, he, he's getting out of it. Oh my God, he just broke out of the real naked choke. Oh my God, and a kick to the stomach of Sterling. And now Austin. Oh, he has Insidious up. It's big suplex. Stomp to the back of the head. And now Austin. Looks to go up. Just telling Insidious. Insidious up. Oh, tries to go for an uppercut. That didn't work. Insidious stalking behind him. Has he got it? Up in the air! Brain Buster! The Concussion Buster! Insidious Sterling's move! His finishing move, the Concussion Buster! The Brain Buster! He hits it on Austin Cross! I don't think Austin Cross is going to be able to get up from that! Bring him into the ring now! One, two, and three! Pure dominance! And Insidious Sterling wins the very first match in a GR! He is also the very first competitor to move on to the World Heavyweight Championship Tournament second round. Ladies and gentlemen, Insidious Sterling came here with the mission to destroy Austin Cross and to get his place in the tournament. And that's exactly what he did. We almost thought it was over. I mean, Austin Cross did break out of the rear naked choke. Although, Austin Cross just did not have the power to kick out of that vicious concussion buster. Well, first you to see to try again, and the city did try again, and it looks like that concussion buster was really the finishing move to put out Austin Cross. Oh my god, just look at Insidious. That man is cold. Salt. Look at the ways he came in the reef. I seriously do not know why we hired this man. He's a menace. This man is gonna kill somebody at some point. Oh, I really doubt it, but yet again, I mean, he is Insidious Sterling. He's the craziest SOB in wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this is the horizon of big things to come for Insidious Sterling as he slowly walks out.
That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the flagship show of WOCW, Saturday Night Thunder. Be sure to check it out. Of course, thank you very much to Saturday Night Thunder's general manager, Bert Chapman, for letting us use some of his talent here in NGR. But ladies and gentlemen, it's time to move on to some women's action. And talking about using talent from Saturday Night Thunder, let's pass it on to our announcer. That's right, folks, the party girl herself. The bombshell Beverly Blake from Brooklyn, so I Blake. Of course, one half of the party girls, the Lauren Reynolds. Of course, is SNT. Tonight, though, here at NGR, she looks to start up her singles career, competing in the tournament to crown our new NGR Women's Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, making her way to the ring. Future legend Brandy Lee from Chicago. And as you can see, she really does have the arrogant type of attitude, doesn't she, Bobby? I mean, yeah, she does. I mean, I was speaking to her early today. She only really cares about herself, what she wants. And I think what she wants is that NGR Women's Champion. To let everybody know this will be the first of our two women's championship tournament matches tonight. And let's just say that all the women who are competing in this tournament are gunning for that title, giving them some serious bragging rights, and really, for the bragging rights that Brandi Lee already has, bragging about her good looks, I think that would really only just add fuel to the fire about how great she thinks she is. Well, we'll have to see if that statement is true. But I am ready to just go ahead into the action and watch some women's wrestling. You said it, Bobby. Let's get started. Beverly to the head. Oh, a knee to the chest. Goes for a spin kick, but Brandy able to catch her. And oh, jawbreaker. And oh my goodness. What a clothesline. And Beverly starting to taunt, showing shades of the Hardy Boys. And believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, she grew up watching the Attitude Era back in the day. And her favorite. Superstars, of course, with the Hardy Boys. Tawny again, and I forgot to quote that insecurity before. And now she's throwing some hard forearms. And now, oh my goodness, Northern Lights suplex. And, oh, elbow to the chest of Brandy. And now she's dragging her to the center of the ring. I'll drag. I think Brandy's back in control now. Oh my god, slap in the face, such disrespect. You said it, Bobby. And now Brandy just wrenching the head back of Beverly. Doing some damage to the neck there. And now Brandy just, I think she's gonna try and stomp Beverly now. And oh, Beverly tried to avoid, sorry, I meant Brandy tried to kick Beverly there, but Beverly, did avoid that. And now Brady seems to be back in control now. And here it comes running Bulldog. Brady. Oh, back to their feet. But Beverly now in control. No, no, now it's Brady back now. It's been, oh my god, Bobby, you believe this? Back and forth. This has been a very physical contest so far. In the very short amount of time we've had. Oh, trying to go for a kick at the corner there. But Brandy now. That's the real fan on the ropes. And now what you gonna do? Oh my, what's the ref doing? Using the ropes as a weapon. Looks like Brandy looks to go high risk, Bobby. What's she planning to do here? And now, oh my goodness, Speedy Orr off the top rope. That was vicious. And, oh, Beverly recovers, she's Runs out of the ring, but now Brandy's back in the ring. They're both back in the ring now. 
And Beverly's gonna go for a power slam. No, inverted DDT. And now Brady has Beverly. Oh, they got him the Dragon Sleeper. She has got her the Dragon Sleeper. And Beverly doesn't look too good here. Oh, not spoke too soon. He's able to get out of that pretty well. Oh my goodness, stun gun against the ropes. Now Brady going on the top rope. Oh my goodness. The show, the elbow, sorry, off the top rope. Oh my goodness, jawbreaker. Beverly is back in this again. Both these women have put their hard work determination into making it here. And it's especially showing now back and forth this match has been. This is women's wrestling, Bobby. You said it, and there it is. Bulldog. Beverly now showing off even more again. Overhead punch. Brady up. Sidewalk slam. Now Beverly bouncing off the ropes now. What's she looking to do here? Oh my goodness, what a splash. Now putting her down for the pin. No, that's a kick out of two. Man, I just have to say this match is going to just so back and forward. I mean, Brandy's down now, but how long will it be before she gets back up? Oh, and now Beverly just stomping her with authority. And now Beverly and Brady back to her feet. Swanna. Oh, my goodness. My goodness, what's going to happen here? Beverly has her. Oh my god! Oh! What a Frankensteiner! And now the big arms! Across the body of Brandy! Now what is Beverly planning to do here? Just picking her back up again. Oh no! Brandy seems to have other ideas! And look at that! She's now out of the ring now! And now Brandy just telling you. Beverly, get up, what she's playing to do here, oh my goodness, she tried to go for a leg drop, that didn't work, crucifix, outside on a solid concrete, jeez, that has got to do some serious damage to your neck, hopefully, there's not too much damage done, hopefully Brandy will be able to get the match done, oh my goodness, and now to the head of Brandy, now Beverly picking Brandy back up, now Irish whipping to the corner, Oh, big shoulder. Oh, tries to go for another shoulder block. Doesn't work. And now Brandy. Back in control once again. Like you said, Bobby. Back and forth. Oh, my goodness. But Beverly reverses. Oh, what's going to happen here now? Oh, my God. Inverted DDT. Beverly. Taunting, showing off. And once again. Now just waiting. For Brandy to get back up. The corner now. What she's looking to do now. A, a second rope tornado DDT. Stomping now. Now big elbow drop to Brandy. Once again. All that charisma. All that taunting. Wild child. The finishing move of Beverly Blake. The wild child. Look at the way she connects. Driving that head into the canvas. Now, could this be it? One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, what an amazing contest between these two ladies. Beverly Blake, obviously walking out tonight, the victor, moving on to our Women's Championship Tournament. That was an absolute amazing match. So back and forth, that had me on the edge of my seat, Bobby. You certainly said it, that's what ended it right there. The Wild Child. Finishing move with Beverly Blake. And really, if we're getting such good matches like this from our women's division, then I really do see a bright future, of course, in that division. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Beverly, the victor of the match, and she's probably uh, going to go to party now. So hopefully we can catch all the fans at the after party. But Beverly definitely deserves it. She is a very very good competitor.
and wish her the very best here in New Generation Rising. Thompson tag team action. And this will be the first round match of our tag team tournament. And ladies and gentlemen, making their way to the ring, they are Doom and Demise. You may recognize these two, of course, again, from SNT. They have moved from SNT here to NGR. And these guys are no strangers to being champions. They are former IWGP tag team champions. Ladies and gentlemen, they have really set wreckage wherever they have gone. They have always had a path of destruction. And also accompanied by their managers to Thorne as well. Another great competitor here in WACW, NGR, SMT. Just to name a few, Bobby. You said it. And now this tag team is completely the opposite. <laughs> Gentlemen, the team of radioactive Robbie and Powerful Preston, they are maximum energy. And these guys are really hyped. <laughs> to say the least. I mean, uh, just look at this look, just radioactive Robbie's going crazy, man. These two must be on something that's stronger than well, hype, I guess. These dudes, you don't really know what to say about them. They're just different. They're full of energy, full of electricity, and hopefully tonight they'll get their chance to compete for those NGR Tag Team Champions. You said it, Bobby. And now the dangerous door of D&D taking on the, well, the electric duo of Maximum Energy. Now, we'll start it off now. Oh, and Brother Doom now. Just taking it to Ray Rackers. Bobby, oh my goodness, not a shoulder block again. Now picking up Ray Rackers, Bobby, and he's just beating the hell out of him. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, he's just... He, just Brother Doom. Oh, no, but Ray Rackers, Bobby, seems to get out of that situation pretty well. Now rear to Robbie. Oh my goodness, he tried to go for a back suplex. But Brother Doom got himself out of that. And now he's just stomping the hell out of him. When we said Doom and Demise were definitely a dangerous tag team. We meant they were a dangerous tag team. And Radioactive Robbie just not getting any sort of offense. He doesn't need to create a better defense now. I think that defensive work will work. Radioactive Robbie is starting to get some part of the pun here, some energy back. And now, oh my goodness, he has the camel clutch on Brother Doom. That's not going to last for long as he gets out of it. He slips out of there. Now, oh my goodness. That head hit the canvas so hard. And now, uh, Irish whip there by Radioactive Robbie. And I'll probably do reverses it again. Boom. Second line, close line! Radioactive Robbie needs to make a tag to his partner in powerful pressing right now. It's the best thing that he could do in this situation. I think he might, and just throwing that punch, you can also almost see that he is just so weakened now by the beating that Brother Doom has given him and a quick punch for good measure. Now powerful Preston sends Brother Doom over. And now Brother Doom 
able to escape there, but he wasn't able to escape that quick boot of powerful Preston. And now, he has powerful Preston up on the doom. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, what a face buster. Oh, he's going for an electric chair suplex then. Still just as devastating. Now, Irish whip against the ropes, catching the ref there. But once again, just shoulder barging. Powerful Preston back down. And Brother Doom seems to be in firm control, and I think right now he's going to tag in his brother, Demise. What's going to happen here? Oh my goodness. Oh, the Demise super kick! And there's the package power driver. Oh my goodness, how devastating was that? Now it's Brother's Demise turn. Oh, I don't think so. And now Brother Demise back in control. No, he's not. Powerful Preston starting to make a comeback here. He could make a comeback for his team. But Brother Demise slips out on that power slam. Oh my goodness. Big axe handle. And now bring Powerful Preston up. Oh, he's trying to go for an uppercut, but Preston dodged that. And now Brother Demise is continuing to absolutely beat the hell out of Powerful Preston. Just look at Sister Thorn over there on the corner. I mean, just look at that look on her face. She doesn't seem faced by any of this. Cheering on her brothers as, well, technically her brothers. As they just absolutely destroy Maximum Energy, but it seems to be the other way around now. Because every time that Maximum Energy seems to just make a comeback, Doom and Demise just seems to be one step ahead of them. And Brother Demise now is going to take a minute to bask in the hate of this crowd. Now, oh, what a spine buster! Now, bring powerful Preston back up to his feet. Now, an Irish whip. And he's going to tag in, do, tag in his brother Doom. And here we go again, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to see it again. Doom, a super kick! And there's a package pile driver. The move that they are known for. The package driver. Package pile driver, I'm sorry. The super kick combo. Your other combo will be that big combo that powerful Preston just delivered. The big flurry of overhead punches. And not even a one count. Oh my god. Oh! And a shoulder now to the stomach of powerful Preston. Looks like he really felt that. Now Brother Doom once again. Oh no way. Powerful Preston with an Irish whip. Look at powerful Preston. Look how exhausted he is already. Oh my goodness, he almost dropped Brother Doom. But he has him in the tree of woe position. And just driving the boot into Brother Doom's face. And now, radioactive Robbie's back into this. Looking to help his partner. Oh my goodness. Brother Doom just fended both of them off just then. Oh, tried to go for a sidewalk slam, but radioactive Robbie escaped it. And throws Brother Doom across the ring. And now look at this, Rear Active Robbie looking to get a quick pin here. The ref, one, two, no, not even a two count. It's gonna take a lot more than that to keep both these brothers down, especially Brother Doom. Rear Active Robbie tries to go for an Irish sweep, that doesn't work. You know, Powerful Preston is telling Robbie just to get back into it. Oh my goodness! He almost just squashed Robbie then. What is Brother Doom playing to do here? Oh my goodness! Oh, what a suplex! This has to be the beginning and the end, ladies and gentlemen. Maximum of Energy have just taken a just hellacious beatdown. I think the only way that really they could come out the winners in this situation is if the match just ends right now. I agree with you 100%, Jerkin. And now, my goodness, double team happening it again. I'll try to go, oh, I think there was miscommunication there. And Brother Doom. Sorry, I mean, Brother Demise. Sorry to tell him apart. The close line now tagging in his brother again. And I think they're just taking turns, just destroying Radioactive Robbie. I think it's, I think it's some sort of a fun game. And just, just throwing him out, throwing him back in, and just punishing him. The ref has to stop this match soon if the match doesn't stop itself. Radioactive Robbie with Irish whip, the Brother Doom reverses it obviously. And once again back into the corner, tags in, tags in Brother Demise, it's gonna happen here. 
Oh, I gonna stop for it. Set up the finishing move. The final hour. There we go. It hits. And now the pin. One, two, three. Finally. Thankfully, it's over. Bobby, can you believe this? I mean, we just experienced around about 10 minutes of torture. Massive energy. It kept making that comeback, but this wasn't enough. Brother Doom and Brother Demise absolutely mauled them alive. As we see there, just, the, just, the effort that Maxi Energy was just trying to make to just win this match but just wasn't enough. Doom and Demise just dominated. And this is where it ended, the final hour. Oh, that's devastating. Ladies and gentlemen, Doom and Demise, the absolute dominant tag team tonight. And really, they are sending a message to anyone else in the tag team division. This is their yard now, and they're going to take it. And they are going to take the tag team champion. Well, after that brutal beatdown, let's just pray that this match goes a different way, Bobby. You said it, I mean. Oh my god, just watch it. Just maximum energy having no chance. Well, unfortunately, Bobby, we do have no time to kind of reflect on it. We have to move on. And now it's time to move on to more of our World Heavyweight Championship Tournament. First round match. Pass on to our announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, the dream, Curse McQueen, and well, if you thought Randy Lee was arrogant, take a look at his shirt. Better than you. Yup. I can tell this guy is probably a jackass. He even says in every way, better than you in every way. Well, Curtis is sure fond of himself, he is confident, and has one hell of an entrance. We'll see how good the dream thinks he is. Ladies and gentlemen, the crowd is pumped up for this man right here. His name is Jaden Game Over Taylor, and he combines two of the world's greatest things, wrestling and video games. Damn well said it, Jerk, and there's nothing better in this world than those two combinations. As you can see on his shirt, now you're playing with power, obviously the slogan used for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jaden Taylor getting the crowd pumped up. He really seems like a good guy. Let's see how he fares well against the Dream in this match. And ladies and gentlemen, let's get it started. Lower an elbow tie up. And oh, look at that. Now we're into the corner now. And the ref is going to have to step in. It's going to happen. Oh my goodness, a slap in the face! Well, the Dream, of course, using his better than you slogan to his advantage. Now, just showing off and just the flurry of punches connecting with Jaden Taylor. 
at all. Curse McQueen dodging Jaden's move there. Now against the ropes. And oh my goodness! Is that a suplex? You would see it went that fast. And now shoulder block. Down goes Jaden. Now Curtis. Oh my goodness! I think that was a jumping complete shot there. And oh a stomp to the shoulder. And a big elbow drop and look at that. Just look at him. Just showing off, my god. Yeah, not even a one count. Bobby, you seem to have a, a dislike towards uh, the dream here. God, I mean, just look at him. He's got gold trunks. He's, he does all these taunts, all these tricks in the ring. I mean, seems like that stupid high school bully. Okay. Well, getting back to the match now, Jaden Taylor. Oh, what a chop! Did you hear that? A big forearm. Now up in the air. Citadel Soul! And a Moon Soul! Oh my goodness! Jaden Taylor using his high flying skills to his advantage off the top of it! Oh my god, a leg drop! The dream's back up though! Oh, and a jawbreaker! And down goes Curtis McQueen. Now, I'll drag. The Dream seems to be back into this. DDT! Now the Dream looks at a high risk. A little high risk of his own now. Oh my goodness! Was that supposed to be an elbow drop? The knees connected first into Jane Taylor's stomach. Well, Jane seems to be fine. And oh, there we go. Spinning kick there, but... That looks vicious. And one count. And the Dream is still very much alive. Oh my goodness, now drop kick to the back of the Dream's neck. The Dream now pushes Taylor off. Now, he has the legs wrapped around Jaden Taylor. Using those forearms across the head of Jaden. Now he's taking more time to show off. Yes, we get it. Just pick him up, just beat him already. God! Now, it's the ropes. Oh my goodness, a jumping clothesline! Did that connect? I think it did, but... Jane Taylor's already back up to his feet. Now into the corner. The Dream pushes him back in. And has him up. Snake eyes! Into the turnbuckle, and oh, out of nowhere, the Curtis cut off! Another pin! One! Two! Three, this match is over. Ladies and gentlemen, that was very impressive. It's out of nowhere, the Curtis cut off. Me? Me? Yeah, good, I guess. Just look at the way he shows off. Ugh. You really do have a hate against the Dream, don't you, buddy? A Shadu. With a passion, too. Ladies and gentlemen, as we see these highlights, this was a very physical match, very back and forward. There's the clothesline there. But this is what would end in a Curtis cutoff out of nowhere. And the Dream would get the pin. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to say, as much as Bobby Styles does not like Curtis McQueen, he did impress me tonight, I must say. I mean, yeah, he did impress me as well. Such not such a smart ass, maybe you will go places. We wish the Dream the very best here in NGR. Welcome back everybody, back to Warfare. And it's now time for some more tag team action. Let's set it down to our announcer.
they are, ladies and gentlemen. Straight from the 90s. If there was ever a team that was more out of touch, it'd be these guys. Zack and Slater. Obviously referencing one of the greatest well, teenage sitcom shows ever. If you're unbeknownst to who these two dudes are, let me just say that I think Slater is the one with the long brown hair and Zack is the guy with the blonde spiky hair. Yep, that's correct, Bobby. These two, of course, are best friends. They love to party. And, of course, in my notes here, I've been told to call Zack the dance slave who loves to rave and to call Slater the hot stuff that beat dudes up. What the hell? They can't stop this. Here come a team that's probably a bit more with the times. They are Technician 2. Straight from the WWE Performance Center. These two are former NXT Tag Team Champions. And they have come to make their marquee in NGR. Ladies and gentlemen, these two are absolutely amazing competitors. And they look to hopefully add another tag team champion to their list of accolades. Game set up now. The dudes who like the party versus the dudes who are very experienced wrestlers. Now into the corner. And the ref now is going to get involved again. Resolves peacefully, like last match. And, oh my goodness, a DDT straight out of the corner by David Sterling. Now David, oh my goodness, an arm drag. And now he's, oh my, good, oh my goodness, he's got the, got that submission locked in. And, oh, and Zach's able to get out of it. And now David, an Irish whip. Should point out that David Sterling has a nickname. They call David Sterling the Ducks. During school, of course, he was a very academically gifted student. However, he dropped all the books, he dropped all the study, and went to the WWE Performance Center to become a wrestler. He's here now with his best friend Jared Blake. They've known each other for years, and they work very well as a tag team. As you can see here, Slater getting tagged in before, I didn't forget to mention that. And now will be Jared Blake will be tagged in. Slater now, kick to the gut of Blake. Blake seems to be in control. Now an Irish whip. Straight into the corner, but Zach tags himself in. I don't think Jared's aware. And Jared gets caught there by Zach. Oh my goodness! The, 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 the Spanish fire, the C4! Jared Blake, though, doesn't look very faced by it. Now, hear him up, and now reversed again, and now Jared Blake, and now it's Zach back in control, oh my goodness, these two trading the dominant position, and now both technician two are outside, maybe the coup break for a few seconds, and now another arm drag by Jared, and now Jared has the head and a big uppercut, he the head of Zach. 
Velvet head knee to the head of the top. And now, back body drop, throws him over. What's Jared planning to do here? He's on the second rope now. Getting some fan appreciation here. Zach slowly getting up to his feet. Doesn't look too good for him. Oh, but he reverses it. Reverses the big drop kick off the second rope. Oh my goodness. I'm driving the neck into his knee. Now Zach tagging, sliding back in. And oh my goodness, Eric Rana out of nowhere. Given. Slider some advantage here. And off the second rope. Oh! Brilliant ring awareness there by the Ducks, but I think the ref may have to tell David Sterling not to do that again, or else he might get himself disqualified. Still, though, this is like some waiting room. God, like, oh my goodness, there's the face buster. One of his signature moves. And now. I think Technician 2, they're going to do it. They hit their finishing move. Here it is, T2. Rolling neck breaker. And now it comes Zach. Oh, but Jared misses. And Zach breaks up the pin. Oh my goodness, they were so close to winning this. And now look at David. Just spins back in. But oh my goodness, that was close. They almost won the match there. If it wasn't for Zach saving his partner Slater, this would have been a very different result. This right now just gives him more of a chance to get back into this. I mean, if Zach can get back in, maybe he can get some offense in and perhaps win the match for him and Slater. And now, oh my goodness, forearm over. Super kick! The big super kick! And now Jared and Zach are going to fight for the position. Oh, but Jared accidentally falls. But Jared, he eliminates Zach. Out of the ring. And David Sterling has him up. Brain Buster! The Ducks Buster by David Sterling. One, two, three. Technician two wins. My goodness, brilliant real awareness by both these two competitors. Able to win the match. Let's take a look at some of the highlights here, Bobby. They work excellently as a team in this. Here's the T2, their finishing move, their tag team finishing move. That got interrupted. There's that big super kick. And as you said, there's the brain buster. And this would get him the win. Of course, thanks to Hope from Jared Blake who did throw Zach out of the ring at the last minute. And now these two in some breathing room off a very highly intense match. The handshake there. These two worked very well as a team. And I think, Bobby, that these possibly be candidates for our new NGR Tag Team Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, before we continue with our action tonight, we would like to thank the Young Punks for their song, Ready for the Fight, the official theme song for New Generation Live. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's past the end of the rings. It's time for more singles action in our World Heavyweight Championship tournament match. And of course, coming well, about to come out to the ring is possibly NGR's most patriotic superstar, especially as you can see on the time trial. Without further ado, it's passed on to our announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first round of World Championship Tournament Match. Ladies and gentlemen, his name's Alex America. He claims to be America's greatest patriot. 
He also calls himself Alex the Great and does have an amateur wrestling background. Like Kurt Angle, like how he won the Olympic Games, the amateur wrestling with a freaking broken neck. Not quite like that. How would you describe him as? Not very good. Oh. And, well, ladies and gentlemen, let's just say it's not going to get any better for Alex America as right now. We are going backstage. And here he is, one of our biggest signings here to New Generation Rising. The man known as the Destroyer. Without any further ado, let's pass it on to our announcer. Standing at almost seven feet tall and weighing over 300 pounds, DeAndre Steele, the destroyer, an absolute monster among men. He is possibly one of the biggest, tallest, and strongest that we have here in this company. And it's quite a shame that he did get paired up against someone like Alex. I mean, let's do the math here. Alex is 5'10", DeAndre almost 7 feet. Not even half his size. Ladies and gentlemen, DeAndre still knows Anything less. You know that... Look at Alex! He's smiling! He's confident about it! I don't think he's going to be very confident for long. Oh my god! And the clothesline. Kick to the back! Of Alex. And... Oh my goodness! A big double axe handle. Oh my god! Oh! DDT to Alex! Oh, this does not look good for America's greatest patriot. Oh my god, a big boot! We are gonna be here for a short one, ladies and gentlemen. Glad if DeAndre is in the mood to make it shorter, whether he wants to inflict as much pain as his opponent as he wants to. Oh my god, a big suplex! Now looking Alex up. Irish whipping the ropes there. Oh, and a big clothesline! Now DeAndre, getting on the second rope, and Alex is refusing to stay down, but he probably should because there's another big axe handle. Oh my goodness. Now DeAndre has Alex, oh my goodness, is that, I think, that's a, I think that's a dragon sleeper he's got him locked in, and oh, he throws him on the ground, not wasting any time there. Oh my god, and an uppercut. He is not going to let Alex make any move in this match. He wants to destroy him. He wants to make him suffer. Now lifting up Alex. Oh my goodness, spine buster! What a spine buster by the Andre! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, no. Alex, stay down. Oh my god, Alex, no! Oh my goodness, watch out! Oh my Choke slam! Good God, what a choke slam! Just, oh my goodness, it's a, I'm so surprised it didn't drive all the way through the mat! Oh my God! He's not even pinning him, he wants to keep him, he just wants to inflict more pain! I don't think DeAndre's done either. Oh my God, he's just beating the hell out of him! Another DDT! Oh my god, I think Alex is busted open! I think DeAndre is just trying to have a little fun at his own expense. I mean, just beating Alex. This is just... Oh my goodness. Alex has nothing in the tank. Because DeAndre just absolutely beat the hell out of him. He still is continuing to do so. Throwing him across the ring like a rag doll. Throwing him across the ring like a wet paper bag and now throwing him out of the ring. 
And he just, oh, just... And now DeAndre is trying to get out, but Alex is back in. Alex may have some fight in him. Oh my goodness! Next snap! And a kick to the back of DeAndre, and that does not. Sure doesn't, Bobby. Oh my goodness. DeAndre has Alex up. Deep stone pile driver. Oh my god. Did you hear the impact of that? Look at Alex. He's busted open. And his head. He's got driven into the mat. And there's no way to get out of this. And ladies and gentlemen, there's the count of three. And we definitely know the name DeAndre Steele now. We definitely know what he's made of. Definitely. Oh my god. The impact of that spine buster, the impact of that choke slam, and the impact of that tombstone pile drive. This, this match wasn't even close. I mean, this pretty unfairly match, would you say, Bobby? Whoa, when you're in a tournament, probably are going to get unevenly matched. Ladies and gentlemen, DeAndre Steele destroying Alex America and making his presence known here in NGR. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, World Online Core Wrestling presents Double VW Victory Vengeance Wrestling, WOCW's home for women's wrestling. That'll be coming in early June and talking about some of action. Let's get to the ring right now as we have another match in our women's championship tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first Ladies and gentlemen, this competitor has the killer beauty, Kirsty Lovelace from Cleveland, Ohio, punk rock girl, and as you see, she's receiving a very nice reception from the crowd. She's an amazing wrestler, amazing competitor. See how she fares well against this woman. stands for badass mother. You know the rest. But ladies and gentlemen, she is one tough woman. And Kirsty Lovelace definitely has a lot to accomplish tonight. But Rachel should not let her guard down. Kirsty is a very well-rounded individual in the squared circle. Now call her elbow tie up and Rachel has the arm of Kirsty, but Kirsty now is the arm of Rachel. Rachel breaks out of it. Arms around the head. Kirsty. Rachel now is starting to get an advantage here. No, but Kirsty now has the arm of Rachel. And now Rachel now has the arm of Kirsty. These two are going back and forward, but Rachel sets to go. Oh, what an uppercut. A second uppercut, no. Kirsty Lovelace reverses it. Oh my goodness. 
crushing the arm of Rachel Sampson there. And Lovelace, oh my goodness. Slamming her head on the floor. Now Rachel's starting to get some offense in. Bring Lovelace's arm. He's on the top rope. I think we're go, gonna go a little bit old school here. And now Rachel doing what she does best, kicking ass. Tough woman from San Antonio. Loves to be in the ring, loves to get into a fight. Loves to have competition as well. Now Kirsty Lovelace. Starting to get her offense in. And she's now just targeting all body parts of Rachel. And oh my goodness, a Herakurana by Samson. Raising her arms to the crowd now. Oh my goodness, she got distracted though. Big German suplex. And now Lovelace putting Samson up. And Samson though has the upper hand. And now the flurry of blows. And the big sidewalk slam. Back up to her feet. And now just throwing Lovelace's head into the floor. But Lovelace though. Back up to her feet. Crucifix. And now has the headphones locked in on Rachel. As it looks pretty, pretty tight in. Rachel's starting to struggle a bit, but now she's able to get out of it. I'll try to go for a big boot, but Kirsty, she avoids it. And now, tries to go for a move. He gets a turnbuckle there, but that doesn't work. And now these two ladies fighting over the position of who's going who on the turnbuckle. But now on the top rope, Rachel goes, and a big double axe handle. And ladies and gentlemen, the Rebel is on fire right now. She is taking the fight to Lovelace. And now Lovelace now. What are going to do here? Oh, I'm trying to go for a pump handle suplex. That's not going to work. And oh my goodness, Rachel Sampson has Kirsty Lovelace up for a finishing move. The Death Valley Driver. I'm sorry that's her signature move. I'm a bit excited there. It's okay, I'm a bit excited too. But I think this is going to be a finishing move, Jerk, and this is going to, going to be what's in this match. And up they go, and Kersey Lovelace is going to go down for the long road. The long road there by Rachel Sampson. And now going to pin her. One, two, this is over. Oh my god, it's not over. Kirsty Lovelace kicked out of well, Rachel Sampson's finishing move, the long road. She is one resilient gal, isn't she, Bobby? Sure is. Now she's bringing the fight back to Rachel. But I don't think that's going to be taking the fight back for long because Rachel seems to be one step ahead of everything that Kirsty does. Kirsty's back into it now. And Rachel, though, Rachel is just catching Kirsty every bad moment she has and just reversing every single move that she throws at her. And now Rachel has Kirsty on the second row. Oh my goodness. Choke slam! And now five, two, three. No! Not even a choke slam to put Kirsty Lovelace away. She is not going down without a fight, Bobby. He definitely isn't. Now Rachel bring Kirsty to her feet again. For your blows. Not gonna work though, because here comes Lovelace back. Back on the attack, I think it's gonna work. Rachel Sampson once again going for the Death Valley Driver. And this has to put her away this time. Kirsty Lovelace, oh my goodness, but her feet managed to touch the ropes. Now look at Rachel, she said she's going to break Kirsty. 
two Death Valley drivers in a big choke slam. And oh wait a minute, what's this? Oh my goodness, Kirsty Lovelace with a big suplex. I think Rachel was trying to go for a big move there, but I think it's Kirsty's turn to go for a big move. And she's, she's aiming, and she's gonna hit it. Butt magic! The kick to the back of Rachel. Oh, and a drop kick to the side of Rachel's skull. And Kirsty, she's gonna set it up. She's gonna set up. Oh, wait a minute, no! Rachel, once again, picks up Bob Face. And down she goes once again. A third Death Valley driver. This has to put her out. Kirsty Lovelace has been very resilient in this match. But three times is the charm. I think he's going to end this one, two, three. It's over. Kirsty Lovelace put up one hell of a fight. But in the end, it was Rachel who was just too powerful. Here we go with all these replays here. Rachel's absolutely decimating Kirsty, and she's still a kick out of this choke slam here. And of the Death Valley driver. Here we go. The Black Magic. We thought the match was turning around. And this is what ended it all. The final third Death Valley driver. And Samson would pin Lovelace. For the three. I have to say, the resilience of Percy Lovelace was certainly amazing. But in the end, it was the rebel Rachel Sampson who came out on top. And this crowd is loving it. Two amazing women's wrestling matches here tonight. New Generation Rising. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, as Rachel Sampson takes the walk to the outside, I'll be back on that motorbike. Now rides into the sunset and awaits her next fight. Wrestling. It's all I've ever known. It's in my blood, it's in my sweat, it's even in my tears. I've had my ups, and I've had my downs. I've had my big wins, but also my fair share of losses. I've wrestled in front of 20 people, to over 20,000 chanting my name. i fought all around the world to make a name for myself. I have faced betrayal, I have faced doubters, I have faced many roadblocks in my life. But one thing I've learned is no matter where I go, no matter which ring I step into, and no matter which opponent I face, I will always do what I do best. And that's to show the world why I am the hardest working wrestler, why I am the most exciting wrestler, why I'm the best wrestler, and why I belong anywhere. And now, it's time to prove myself once again. Because the angel is gonna fly. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the angel of sin, Alex Nova, will be here next week on Warfare, and he'll be appearing in our main event. Bobby, can you believe this? 
one of the hottest stars to come out of SNT. As you may have seen, Alex did say farewell to the SNT fans, but we have signed him, and he will be here next week to compete in our World Heavyweight Championship Tournament. Definitely one of the best signings we have acquired here in NGR, and if you haven't found a reason to watch next week, we certainly are giving you one now. Anyways, with that said, it is main event time, ladies and gentlemen. More singles competition, it's so Gentlemen, making his way down in the ring, the German suplex machine, Eric Ludwig. This man is dangerous. He's a mat wrestler, trained in judo and mixed martial arts. Over in Germany, he was one of the most feared competitors on the German wrestling independent circuit. Ladies and gentlemen, he is here in NGR. And he is a really a no-nonsense type character. And I reckon he could be a definite candidate for our NGR World Champion. But first, he'll have to go through this man. Ladies and gentlemen, the next generation of professional wrestling, the over 10 year veteran, Tommy Fenn. This man has gone through the thick and thin. He knows wrestling in and out. And ladies and gentlemen, there is no doubt in my mind that the next generation of professional wrestling is here to prove why he is one of the best in ring competitors we have in New Generation Rising. The hand gesture there, pointing it directly at Eric Ludwig. Could that be a sign of things to come? Let's find out. Bobby, between these two monsters among men, who do you think's in a take out the prize here of moving on to the oh my goodness the arm drag the takedown who as I was saying Bobby who do you think's the well better competitor well let's see Eric Ludwig is trained in a bunch of mixed martial arts Fenn has been in the wrestling circuit almost for over 10 years I should say and oh my goodness I have to stop you there because he seems to have a submission on Ludwig and Eric Ludwig gets out and now Ludwig with the Irish whip and oh my goodness what a spine buster to Fenn and Eric Ludwig now looking to target the legs of Tommy Fenn and oh my goodness look at this Eric Ludwig is Removing the turnbuckle post. But Tommy Fenn is beginning to fight back. And throwing Ludwig onto the side there. But a big forearm. Tommy Fenn has been stunned. Another forearm, but that doesn't work as Tommy Fenn fires the forearm of his own. But Tommy is thrown in into the corner. But not for long. Tommy Fenn. Big German suplex. 
proving why he's the next generation of professional wrestling here. Using his in-ring skills, his in-ring abilities. Now another Irish whip in the corner. What's Ben planning to do here? Oh my god! Shoulder first into the post. Now, oh wait a minute. I think Ludwig is going to get some offense in. And now he's going to show Tommy Fenn why he was the most feared wrestler in Germany. And now just driving the legs in the face of Tommy Fenn, driving the knee. And oh my god, he tried to go for a kick, but Tommy Fenn catches him. He takes Ludwig down. And Tommy Fenn with a big boot, sending Eric Ludwig into the corner. And now, Snake Eyes, onto the exposed turnbuckle, oh my god! One, two, no, not even a two count, I thought Eric would be out after that, the exposed steal of the turnbuckle. And Tommy Fenn with the claw over Eric Ludwig. And now a big back breaker, back breaker, ah, Bobby <laughs> hits so hard as a back breaker. I do understand, I don't know how excited you are. It's made of bad time in NGR. And look at that, a big suplex. Now pin. One, two. Not a two count. Got a one and a half there. And now Eric Ludwig with just a boot. Trying to keep Fenn down. And now the legs over Fenn's head. The big forearms connect. Now Ludwig stomping. And now, he's willing to dish out more punishment on Tommy Fett, oh my goodness. The knee to the back of the neck, one, two, no. Tommy Fenn kicking out just before the count of two. He still looks to be in this, and he is, arm drag. And now, oh, oh, look at Tommy Fenn. Taunting there. You may want to do that in front of Eric Ludwig, you may want to get the German super machine angry. And Tommy Fenn seems to be in control. Neck breaker. And now Tommy Fenn's fired up. Tommy Fenn has the crowd behind him. And look. Stalking Ludwig. Can we get up? Spine Buster! The big spine buster by Tommy Fenn. One, two, no! Kicks out at two. And Tommy Fenn can't believe it. Look at the shock in his face. Big signature spine buster, but he's not giving up yet. He's still trying to get the crowd on his side. And right now, Tommy Fenn goes up a big overhead punch that doesn't work. And now Eric Ludwig, oh, hits a zigzag there. And now it's Eric Ludwig's turn to taunt and show off. And now Eric Ludwig, the out of the ring, having a little couple of seconds of breathing room there, and oh, he's kicking Tommy Fenn right in his ribs. He has been up to his feet. Big kick to the back. And Eric Ludwig is doing it again. He's stomping. It's like a ritual. The ritual of Eric Ludwig stomping the ring before he goes on another vicious rampage of attacks. And Fenn seems to be down and out here. Oh my god. He's targeting the legs again of Tommy Fenn. And now picking up Fenn. Oh wait a minute. No! Tommy Fenn reversing with the uppercut. Bobby, oh my goodness, there's him on his shoulders. The Tommy Gun, the finishing move of Tommy Fenn. The Tommy Gun, oh my goodness. Spins him around for the cutter. And ladies and gentlemen, just like that, Tommy Fenn. Does he have this in the pad? Two, oh my goodness. I thought that was three. He kicked out of the Tommy Gun. Oh my god! Tommy Fenn is a bit shocked, but he doesn't look to seem too faced by it. And now Tommy Fenn dishing out punishment on Ludwig. And now the big back body drop. Telling Ludwig to get up. And now another big signature spine buster. And now Fenn, he's fired up. At first you don't succeed. I think he's gonna try again. Oh my goodness, Eric Ludwig with the flip, church slam! And then a 
has to be it, Bobby. One, two, three. No! Oh my god! Somehow, some way, a choke slam, two spine busters, and the Tommy gun, and Eric Ludwig still isn't out of it. Good god! But Eric Ludwig is starting to fight back! Oh my goodness! Look at this! And you don't call the gun so Flex Machine for no reason! He's taking Tommy Fed Street to Suplex City! Oh my god! Tommy Fed down and out! Now he's on the receiving end of punishment by Ludwig, and look at that! Ludwig showing off, taunting Tommy Fed! And now it's Ludwig's turn to make the comeback here! Two big shoulder blocks! Picks up Fed on the floor! And now, once again, the ritual, stomping the mat, stomping the ring. Could this be the beginning of the end for Tommy Fenn? Picks him up, and Ludwig picks up Fenn, no! And Fenn, with a suplex of his own! And now, picking up Eric Ludwig, and oh, has he got him? Up in the air, Brain Buster! He has taken Eric Ludwig to Brain Buster Boulevard. He may have, Eric Ludwig may have taken Tommy Fenn to Suplex City, but Tommy Fenn took Eric Ludwig to a one-way trip to Brain Buster Boulevard, and this is what's gonna end the match, the big Brain Buster. Ladies and gentlemen, what a physical, brutal main event we just witnessed. You see these highlights here. This match was back and forth, especially when Tommy Fenn hit Brain Buster. That was the end of it. But it took a choke slam, a Brain Buster, two Spine Busters, and a Tommy Gun. Not in that particular order, but it took a lot to get Eric Ludwig down. And ladies and gentlemen, with that said, we thank you very much for tuning in to New Generation Line Rising Warfare. Thank you for tuning in and we hope to see you next week. Until then, Bobby Styles and Tom Jerkin, we hope you have a good weekend.